Good evening, everybody. We are back. Good evening. It could very well be good evening when you're watching this. It might not be, though. Um, but nevertheless, I hope you guys are having a good one. Uh, so, yeah, I figure, you know, I've got a little bit of time to myself, so I might as well see if I can record the next Smite Basics episode, which is really exciting um, because we've done three out of five of the gods, and we've also done uh, Attributes, which was the very first episode. So we're back, and we're trying out the Warrior this time, which just leaves us with... Uh, Guardian, oh no, not Guardian, it just leaves us with something, Hunter I think, uh, which is actually really exciting because Hunter should be a ton of fun. Um, but for now, we'll unguan you, which is the warrior that you start with. Um, again, for anybody that's coming across these videos for the first time, which is very, very possible, um, I'm putting everything into a very, very basic uh basic way of you know explaining stuff really going into detail just in you might think to yourself oh but pack everybody knows what this does everybody knows that health increases your chances of survival you know but i'm just explaining it for the very for somebody that picked up smite yesterday uh so that everybody can be included in this video but i am going to try and go fast so if there's something that you didn't quite understand you know just hit that rewind and and j just watch it over a couple of times um hopefully it will be pretty simple and make a lot of sense and we'll actually go at some speed but first of all but before we carry on with the video i do have to you know acknowledge something really really cool that happened this week um so this week's been a really good week i haven't actually been uploading too much which is a little bit of a lull for me normally i upload at least once every two days um, and at least three times a week is sort of the goal um but this last week i think i probably uploaded two videos this will be the third and it is sunday so it's like the so that the minimum that i'm ever going to do and that's just because of pokemon go which i've talked about in another video so i'm not going to bang on about that but um yeah, uh, I, I came home today and I checked out um, one of my, I, I don't even call him a buddy now, but anyway, um, what, this dude that I watch called Yorkshire Myers, um, and he sent me a really nice message ages ago on one of my videos, and this was a video that had like no comments on it, it's like, oh, it's really cool that somebody's actually commenting, so I commented back and we sort of got chatting a little bit, and he's actually a really, really cool dude, and um, and he was like, yeah, come check out some of my videos, so I did, and um I actually genuinely really do enjoy quite a lot of them. Um, and this was like two weeks ago, um, especially some of the Battlefield content. That's fucking hilarious. Like really good shit. Um, and yeah, he's got like a thousand five hundred subs and all this stuff. And he's like a really, really cool YouTuber. Anyway, watched a ton of his videos and um, and one of them was like a, a shout out Sunday thing. So I watched that. I thought that was quite interesting. Um and it didn't really occur to me even to put my name forward because I'm such a small channel and it's like, you know, I, I do this stuff for myself really for fun. Um, and if some if, if people watch it, then they can get something out of it. Then that's the, like, really fucking cool as well. But um, just as far as like, uh, you know, actually producing stuff, uh, I didn't really think that I fell in the category to, to, to even nearly be worth a shout out. But uh, I went for it anyway. And um, this Sunday he released his next shout out video and I'm in it, which is like really, really fucking cool it might get me a bit of coverage and some people might come check out the channel all that type of stuff anyway so really really fucking awesome and i have to give that dude major 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 props for like fucking basically helping me out and like giving me a massive shout out it's like awesome and there were some really nice compliments in there so it really strives me it allows me to strive on and, and do well and concentrate and make sure that i keep these videos coming thick and fast and keep the standard and quality up as well so anyway without uh, without further ado uh, Yorkshire Meyer, top fucking lad, real gent, really, really, really nice dude. If you haven't seen him, go check out his video, man. He's got tons of content like GTA, Battlefield, all sorts of stuff. My pick would be he's got a Smite video on there. It's a Joust montage uh, of him playing Hoi Yi. He can really box, man. He's only just started Smite and he can really, really box. So, really, really cool channel. Definitely go check him out. But anyway, on to Guan Yu. The starter warrior that we start with, um, he's got some pretty fucking dope skins, man. You can't really contest that. Like, this one's actually awesome. Um, the only thing is that he's holding a broom. I think if he wasn't holding a broom, it would be kind of cooler. But I do understand it. It's like the whole thing of, like, Jedi Master. Not Jedi. Samurai Master doesn't need a sword. He can beat you up with the broom. Um, really cool skin. Exclusive. Probably going to be a little bit difficult to get. But um, really nice. That came in Underworld. Uh, his recolor actually looks fairly decent. Really nice bright colors. So can't go too wrong with that. 
and the exclusive i don't actually know where you're getting that one from um yeah so anyway he's got some cool stuff uh something to note on his stats is that this is his progression swing so if you guys don't know this um every character has a progression swing swing squig, squig. every character has a progression swing uh where basically the damage is going to hit for one times the amount one times the amount 1.3 times the amount on the third hit and on the last hit you've got substantially larger damage almost twice your basic damage so what you're going to want to do is when you get into combat try and hit them four times at a minimum because then you're going to get this real nice power spike on the end amazing we love that really nice progression swing on him there um so that's worth that's worth noting um as you can see i just don't fucking play the dude i played him like hardly at all but i can talk about him understand him i've been against him so many times and i also know his build through just game sense um so what we're going to do is we're going to ignore that and we're going to start here with hide of the urchin the reason why we're picking up hide of the urchin first is because the quicker that we can get it um the the quicker we can start stacking it and it's really important to get those stacks as early as possible you don't want to end up with hide of urchin stacks like halfway through the game or towards the end of the game so we pick up that first and you normally you can't do this unless the god has movement speed because obviously without these boots as you can see we should just take all these off without the boots you're still sitting at your base speed which is 375 which is actually really slow compared to what you get when you get the boots four four three um so but the, the good thing is one of his abilities allows him to dash forward and he can also use his ult to get out, which in my opinion is enough of a reason to get hide first and then the boots being slightly less important, um, get them second. Uh, so then we go into boots, warrior boots always because they are financially the best uh, pick up for power and movement speed that you can buy in the game. Um, and then we're going to go for something a little bit different. It's called Shield of Regrowth, and the only reason we're building it is because it's got a really cool passive. Well, it's not the only reason, but you wouldn't build it on any other warriors, really, except for Hercules and any other ones that can self-heal. Um, so it comes with 30 power. Amazing. We love that. We're already on 40 power because of our boots. All of a sudden, we're up to 70 power. Really, really, really cool. And um, it comes with 30 physical protection. So instead of being on 111, pretty early in the game, you've got 141 physical protection. Not too many people are going to be able to fuck with you, um, which is really, really great. Um, and then it also comes with 10% cooldown. So cooldown, awesome, just means we can use our abilities more often. Then we go into Gauntlets of Thieves. Comes with 400 health. Oh, my God. So we're sitting at 2,400 as it is. As soon as we put that on, we're up to 2,800. Now we have really, really become a tank. Mages can still hit us quite hard, but that's not going to be an issue in a second. So this comes with 400 health, some HP 5, so that you can regen health when you're out, um, and increases all healing received by 20%. Now that's important for us, because as Guan Yu, we have a heal, and it's really, really useful for healing other people, but it's insanely useful for keeping yourself alive as well. So really cool passive for us. Just means we heal more with our ability. Um, then we eventually go into Ansar, which is more power, taking us from 70 up to 95. Now what you'll notice is our power is very low. That is correct. We've still got a little bit, so we'll still be able to dish out some damage, but we're definitely building our new tank. Um, the reason for that is because I just... If you build him damage, it's a little bit risky. You can get beaten up quite easily and... In my opinion, the damage isn't worth the risk of getting destroyed and not really being much support to your team. So we're going to go for this idea instead, which is tanky. Um, so we have gone up to 95 power, which is pretty cool. comes with a little bit. Uh, mainly 60 magical protection. Amazing for us. As you can see, we were on 83 and a little bit lacking. As soon as we get the 60, we're up and in line with our physical protection. So we're really good against both people, majors and physical at the moment. Again, comes with another 10% cooldown. All of a sudden, we are up to 20% cooldown and our ability is coming back really nice and fast. Then we're going to finish it with a shifter shield, which we talked about before, but we'll go over again. Comes with 40 physical power. Immense. We absolutely love that. 20 of each protection. Important for us because we're a tank. Um, and comes with a passive that means when you're above half health, you... In not only do you get the 40 power that you actually got for the item, but you get another 20 power while you are above half health. So technically, this is going to give us 60. And that's why it just went from 95 to 155, which is an increase of obviously more than 40. And it is, in fact, an increase of 60 um, because it's, it's counting us as full health at the moment. And then when you drop below half health, you lose the 20 physical power, but you gain 20 of each protection. So all of a sudden, these are going to be at 181 and 183. You become very, very tanky when you're below half health, which is really handy. Um, 
So overall, it's an incredibly tanky build. You've got a ton of health. You've got some good protections. You'll be doing some damage. Not really until you... You won't do too much damage until you build shifters. But when you build shifters, you'll be doing some damage. And the really, really nice advantage with this one, guys, um, is that it's insanely cheap to build. This is a very, very cheap build. And if you find yourself getting kills and your team's doing really well and you're getting ahead and all that type of stuff, um, you can swap something out. Like, for instance, you can swap out Gauntlets of Thebes because the heal isn't amazing later on. It's really, really good at the beginning, but you can swap out Gauntlets of Thebes for something really expensive like Mantle of Discord. Now, all of a sudden, if we swap these two out, our protections go through the roof and we've got the passive that does the shockwave. Um, so that's that's an option if you wanted to um, you know, swap out when you've got some money later on, all that type of stuff. Um, that goes into relics. Uh, we start with sprint because it's really nice to have the mobility. Curse is okay, but if you get cursed yourself, there's no real way to get out of it. So your, your relic can be countered with this. It can't be countered. Um, so we'll go for sprint. That basically allows you to chase down the enemy a little bit better and it can be useful for getting out of sticky situations. Uh, sprint basically awesome and then we pick up century second the reason why i'm picking up century second as a tank is because i want to be fronting like i want to be frontlining so much and frontlining means where you stand at the front of your teammates so you're going to be the one that they're looking at first you're going to be the one in range first you're going to be the one in their eye um you're probably going to be the one taking the majority of the damage i want to be at the front of the line so much that i i know that i'm going to be taking a lot of damage later on when you build the second relic you're level 12 I know that from about level 15 to level 20, I'm actually going to start taking some serious damage. That has nothing to do with our protection and our build. It's just at that point in the game, you need to start to take a lot of damage. And having a Sanctuary is actually really, really good. Um, so, yeah, that's really good. And, of course, if you need these two, you can swap them out. Um, mana Pots, very important. Don't start the game without Mana Pots. Um, that should leave you on... Uh, yeah, you'll start with tier 1 cloak, uh, which looks really bad, but it's not. Don't worry too much. And then you're going to have another 800. So definitely pick up like 3 mana potions um, and possibly 1 ward or 3 mana potions and 3 potions. Health potions, sorry. Um, that pretty much covers his build and obviously we're going to try and move as quick as possible. So we're going straight into the abilities. Uh, we shall clear all of these straight away. Let's actually look at the abilities because we haven't read them yet. So here's... Um, is passive is the word of it is the word of it english please hello someone help um the passive is pretty cool on guan yu um it's a little bit complicated in fact all of his abilities are a little bit complicated he's probably the most complicated starter god and that's why this video will probably be a little bit longer than usual um it basically means that each time guan yu takes damage or receives damage um sorry deals damage or receives damage uh he gains a stack um, it can't be from a minion, it's got to be from an enemy, uh, but he gains a stack. Oh no, sorry, it can be from a minion, my mistake. He gains a stack. And at full stacks, um, you will end up getting a boost to your next ability, which is really, really awesome. Um, 20 is the full number of stacks. So basically, you run into a group of minions, hit them a lot, um, probably with this ability that we're going to go into in a second and you'll get your stacks and once you've got 20 stacks you'll notice a little bloody skull on the corner of the screen which we'll see when we go into jungle in a second and that's going to indicate that the next ability that you move is going to the, the next ability that you use is going to be really, really strong. Um, and as you can see, uh, you'll get a boost in healing on your one. You'll get a boost uh, to the slow on your two. And you'll get a boost with protection stolen on, on your three. And you will also get a boost to your cavalry charge. So we'll go through all of them as we do it. But nice passive. Stack that up and you get some really nice uh, extra strength to your abilities. The first one's Conviction, which is an area of 30. Um, and it basically heals yourself and uh, allies um, when you do this if there is allies within that range it reduces all your cooldowns uh, by two seconds so that's really really cool like it just allows you to it's, it's almost like a thank you for healing your teammates um, it's like you've healed a teammate have two seconds off of your next heal or whatever it is that you want to do um, as you can see when your passive is totally full the healing is boosted to double so it goes from 385 all the way up to 370 um which is obviously double um it's the same with all the ranks so you're getting double the amount from your heal so that's actually probably one of the best the best uses of your full passive that you can do um warriors will it's a dash it's very very um 
It's very, very small. It's not a large dash at all. It's probably the, the smallest in the game, in fact. Short even. Very, very short. Um, he charges forward. Uh, as he does this, he extends his blade in front of him. All enemies in the path take damage and are slowed. The slow is important. Hitting an enemy lowers... All of Guan Yu's cooldowns by two seconds. So a little bit like the heal. If you heal a ally with this, if you hit an enemy, two seconds off your cooldown. So really nice opportunity to start chaining all the, all of this cooldown reduction together. Um, you are immune to roots, cripples, and knockbacks. Uh, sorry, knocks, knockups while dashing. So you're immune to quite a lot, but you're not immune to stun. So you can be stunned while in the middle of it. So you're not completely CC immune. Um, Pretty cool move, good for getting in and out of situations. Actually, does a large amount of damage as you can see by the final um, tier 5 of it uh, is 300 with 50% of your physical power plus the slow. Um, and you can see the boosted slow goes from 30 up to 60 when you do it with conviction or painless, even so painless. Um, so yeah, that takes us on to Tallow Assault, I think that's it. I think that's how you said. Um, it's where Guan Yu spins his blade in a controlled but furious display, slicing enemies from enemies for damage every 0 0.343 seconds. So that's going to be 10 hits. Um, and as you do that, each time you hit an enemy god, you steal their protections. Now, steal is a very important word. It's not removed you haven't removed their protections you have actually taken their protections which means you've lowered their protections and increased your own protections really really powerful move especially if you know how to use it this guy's all about lots and lots of practice getting good at him and he can be a very effective god um yep as you can see he's immune to uh knockbacks in duration you can still be stunned while in the middle of it you can still be rooted while in the middle of it um there's a couple ways to slow him down when he does that type of stuff but it's got a little bit of a cone on it in front of him uh i wouldn't say it's a cone but it's got a little bit of range on it in front of him um decent bit of damage um 55 plus 20 percent of your physical power uh is going to be another 30 so you're hitting for 85 times 10 if you can land, land every single hit you're probably going to be doing somewhere near 700 damage at that point in the game with their protections and you're going to be ripping them off and stealing them for yourself. So that's really, really cool. Um, the boosted basically means that you rip off more protections and you apply more protection to yourself. The duration of those protections stolen lasts three seconds and equally last three seconds on the person that you're attacking. Um, his ult's kind of cool. There's a few things to note about this guy. And like I said, he's a very complicated character. So guys, if you do need to go back and listen to something twice, I really wouldn't blame you because he's very, very complicated. Um... Guan Yu basically jumps on a, ha a horse, a war horse, and charges for four seconds. While he is mounted, he can steer and attack. The issue with this is you're going so fast that when you're steering, you're not really doing too much. It's very hard to turn this thing, and we'll, we'll demonstrate that in a second. Um, but what you can do, and lots of people don't know this, is if you hold S to actually hold backwards, because he will just run on his own. You don't have to press W anymore as soon as you ult he would just run forward you can't not run forward but if you hold s it will actually slow the speed that you charge at this can be really handy for landing multiple hits because once you are on the horse you basically hit an enemy when you are nearby and he will swing his tallow at them and do an increased amount of damage um, and each time you hit them it will escalate by an extra 20 percent per hit um, applying a slow and on the final hit, he stuns. Um, lots of people see this ability and they find it very hard to hit the stun because it's like, well, I hit him once, I hit him twice, and then they run away. And then for the last hit, they're nowhere near me and they don't get stunned. Well, like a lot of um, abilities like Ymir's ult, you can actually cancel this. Um, so if you're running past somebody and you just want to stun them real quick so you can finish them off, you can literally jump on your horse as soon as you get near them, cancel it instead of hitting uh, a basic attack, and you will jump off your horse and you will hit them for that 1.5 stun, and you should be able to deal a decent amount of damage. Um, it, it does sound really complicated, and it is pretty complicated, but as soon as we get into jungle, it will make so much more sense, guys. I absolutely promise. So the order that we're going to build these in is going to be uh, Tallow, because it's really important for clearing wave. Um, conviction back into Tallow. We're going to pick up Warrior's Will. Then we're going to hit our ult because we're level five. And then we're going to go into Tallow. In fact, we're not going to go into Tallow there. My mistake. We're going to go into Conviction. Then we're going to go into Tallow. Then we're going to go into Warrior's Will. Pick up our ult again into Tallow. 
into conviction because we need a little bit more healing. Um, back into tallow, pick up our ult again. Conviction, warrior's will, conviction, ult, warrior's will, warrior's will, and the ult again. Um, so this should basically allow you to have a pretty good spread, but your lane clear is going to be leveling when it needs to be, and your heal is going to be leveling when it needs to be. And you will end up with a decent-ish charge because the charge actually does a fair amount of damage if leveled. Um, I have left quite a bit till the end. I left three till the end, but you get your two, which is uh, 135 at level eight. So it's not too bad. And you're getting some other stuff way earlier, which is a bit more important in my opinion. So let's go give this dude a little whirl in the jungle. So training, jungle practice. Because um, like I said, he just takes a lot of getting used to. This guy is like a little bit tricky, but um, he, he can be really effective and he, he can be a good god if, if you can play him correctly. Uh, I can't actually see him. So there we go. That's the easy way to do it. Uh, what should we take? Should we take? I think we'll, I think we'll take this one. This one's a bit cooler. A little bit crazy, but a little bit cooler. So this has already been a 17-minute video. So we'll try and wrap this up in three minutes and try and keep it to 20 minutes. It was always going to be a long one because it's Guan Yu, but I do want to try and keep these basic videos as short as possible and not bang on as much as possible. So first thing we're going to do is grab a couple of these. There we go. That's the good stuff. Oh, I had a good little chain there. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, boys. That's how we do it. Professional in the house. So we build hide. We build warrior. We build shield of regrowth. We build gauntlet thieves. We build ansel. And we finally build shift the shield uh, as our relics. We're going to take these two. Um, and we don't need to really worry about this too much. But that's probably typically what I'd go for. Um, and we shall level some of these a little bit. Because, well, we'll level them all actually. Because we're level 20. Um... So, basically, the way that this dude works is, that is his dash. As you can see, it really is not very far at all. You want to land your dash, and then you want to start doing your blades. As you can see, the blades actually go a really long distance. If you can imagine his blade hitting that wall from here, it seems a little bit ridiculous. And it is ridiculous, but that is the range. Um, so, that's really worth knowing. And his heel is considerably large, um, and pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, basically charge in do the damage on the charge if you miss it like i did then you're probably pretty bad at this game so you can see 195 195 253 and the final hit 241 so that's the hit that you want to be landing so charge in do the initial damage hit with your talons whole load of damage and you can see that we've got our conviction stacks up to level 20 which means the hit we do next is going to be massive we don't get to see it because um because I had full health, because there was nothing's attacked us yet. But uh, what you will notice is, as soon as I heal myself, because of um, I don't actually think I went over the passive, so I'll quickly talk about the passive on this, which is basically after you're healing yourself, for an ability you gain 35% movement speed for four seconds. It can't occur more than once every 10 seconds. So all of a sudden we are charging so fast, really good, and then we can sprint out. Then we're back to normal speed, and you'll see once I pop it again, really fast. We'll give him some talons. You know, you can see if you land a fair few of them, you can really do some nice damage. Like we are doing serious damage to this guy right now. Just heal ourselves back up, get more movement speed. Um, so he's definitely got the potential. But what you need to what you need to remember is you always need to land this, and you always need to get a couple basics. Then you need to land at least eight out of ten of these, and then heal yourself up, get the extra movement speed, give him a couple more basics. And he's done, and you can just charge out. Um, what we will try, though, is the horse, because that's actually really interesting. And I think we've just about got enough time to go over it before we get into the really late stages of a long, long video, which I'm trying to avoid at all costs. So, movement speed. Um, and as you can see, we jump on our horse. We are, let's see, we're in line with the Odins. As soon as you jump on the horse, I'm not pressing W anymore. The horse goes a really, really long way. And I fucked it. But as you can see, you come off of the horse and you do like a one big swipe. Um, that swipe is basically going to be a really, really horrible stun. A second and a half stun is is, is really long. Um, it's like a fucking life lifetime if you've got a few teammates around you because they can deal damage as you're doing it as well. Um, so that's really, really good. Uh, as, you, as you can see, our hides are going up as we kill Raz. Uh, we've got this extra damage from Shifter's Shield. 
and our conviction stacks are almost are not our conviction stack our painless um, is nearly back up so uh, yeah he's, he's actually a really really cool character and like I said tons of getting used to but the way that you build this this uh, this little setup that we've got here um, is going to be the best for you guys I mean it's it's not the best in the world I know, I'm aware that there's much better ways of building them but this is a very basic get to know the gods um, foolproof build before you start trying any crazy stuff um, and the hill is awesome as well you can't go wrong with the hill so yeah what we're going to do is instead of showing you the whole ult uh, which is four hits I believe we're just going to show you a cut down version where I cancel it I'm going to tell you exactly when I'm going to stun him because I get the opportunity to cancel it so here we go we charge in hit him once hit him twice now we're going to cancel it bosh there we go right on him he got stunned so hard flick him with that he's even standing in his own thing and it can't do anything because we ripped his protections off with our three um so yeah really cool god guys definitely worth checking him out um he's he's really underplayed as well so there's a really good chance that um you know this is nice to have a god that you've mastered that other people don't and uh, this will certainly be one of them if he floats your fancy floats your fancy i don't think i'm speaking english anymore guys which i'd say is a pretty good time to end the video um i really hope that's been helpful it's been a little bit longer than i hoped it would be it's been almost like 30 minutes i think um but uh you know guys if it's if it's of any help at all then um that's that's really good and that's what i'm going for yeah so uh, anyway guys we shall see you in the next one which is going to be um neat definitely definitely watch the neat episode i'm pretty pretty good with neat i've got her like prestige eight this dude i've got in prestige one so i know what i'm talking about when it comes to this dude but the neat episode is going to be really really nice i'm going to show you guys that are starting up smite today how to become an incredibly naughty neat player and do some destructive horrible horrible things to people that's even going to make you cringe a little bit so definitely definitely watch out for that one which will be coming out next week at some point probably next weekend i'd say um so yeah anyway guys have a really really nice week and um i shall catch you in the next one bye